Good morning to you all and welcome to 2024, but more importantly, the 92nd ACC Swimming Championships here in, within the heart of Melbourne. Melbourne Sports and Aquatic Centre, the outdoor pool, just next to the Grand Prix track in which the annual race was played on Sunday. It is Wednesday. I am a caller for today's event in Charlie Roberts. 13 different schools today, 7 from Division 1, 6 
from Division 2. With our Division 1 lineup looking with just the one change here with Masnod coming back into Division 1. And they are part of a seven side assorted lineup for the top division alongside St. Joseph's Geelong. Parade, Salesian, St. Bede, St. Bernard's, Whitefriars and Masnod. And for Division 2, there are the six sides. And D. La Sol, who have been relegated from Division 1 into Division 2 this year. St. Patrick's, Ballarat, who were known in, within athletics as a surprise packet. They are also in the frame for their third year running. And in fairness, came second overall in the Division 2 competition. St. Mary's College as well, who have had a rich history in terms of coming away with these triumphs and the like events. St. Joseph's Ferntree Gully, Simmons and of course Emmanuel. But the big question heading into today is will St. Bede's be able to defend their mantle having taken out Division 1 on aggregate with a, a mass of 531 points and with that victory it also made it four years on the trot being the kings of Division 1. This was followed by a second place in St. Bernard's, third place parade, fourth place Salesian, and then followed by St. Joe's, Geelong, White Fries, and D. La Soul. But Division 2, Mazenod, they've now been promoted and we won last year. Do D. La Soul potentially take up that vacancy? St. Pat's, Ballarat, as well, in who did finish second last year, followed by Ferntree Gully, St. Mary's, Emmanuel, and Simmons, what well, also to look out for within the Division 2 is the Outstanding Achievement Award which is presented to the Division 2 school with the highest total amount of points in comparison to their enrolments and that award only being eligible for less than a thousand students. We're not too far away for our opening event of the day, it being the Open. 200 metre freestyle for Division 1. On the way for the opening event for this morning in the 92nd swim meet of such event as it is as certainly looking as a strong start within lane 7 along with lane 5 at the minute from Ashton Roberts. Ashton Roberts is currently leading at the moment and does look formidable in the early stages. Not too far behind however is Joel Pollard from White Friars. Ashton with an excellent turn as we've just finished the first changeover of their important turns and turns are very crucial in these certain sports especially when you can shred a few seconds off your final time Ashton still leads away in second spot it's Matthew Sahandi on the furthest lane of the broadcast side we've got in third spot two at the moment Joel Pollard it's Ashton who's looking superior within the early stages. Followed by Ashton, Ben Sahandi. Lane four, followed by in fourth spot at the minute, along with Jack Darling and Tyrone Van Ravenstein from Mazenor. But Ashton Roberts, it's gonna be pretty hard to catch up with him as we're about to approach the 92nd mark of the race. It was raining before, but now the bright sunshine is finally shown. Sometimes with Melbourne, you just get four seasons in one day. Ashton Roberts, in what it looks to be from St. Bede's, we did mention just before, having won the last four years in a row in the Division One competition. And this is just the start they are looking for. Ashton looking very comfortable with only a few metres left in it. Sahandi on the far side. It's probably going to clock up second here. And then Joel Pollard. And there is the ball. It's a fire starter that St. Bede's are looking for to probably make it fifth year in a row of the top dogs of Division 1. Sahandi coming second, followed by Joel Pollard, Jack Darling. Andrew Tan, 
Van Ravenstein. Event number two coming up, it being the Open 200 for Division Two with five swimmers in just a couple of moments. Division 2 set to take their marks. The, the section winners from Division 2, I mean, Mazenod won the junior, intermediate St. Patrick's and St. Joey's Fantry Gully in the seniors. Underway for the Division 2 version of a replica, the 200 metre freestyle. It's a ferocious start. I'd love to say that word last night. Quick turnaround as, as well, having with this venue, having hosted the Girls' School Victoria event last night swim championships and this morning we now have the Associated Catholic Colleges competition. It is a three way battle at the minute in between lanes three, four and five. Charlie Wood, Charlesworth and Maxwell Mutamar from St. Joey's Ferntree Gully. It's Charlie Wood who has a slender advantage over Charlesworth. However, it's not too far behind. Mutamar is still within the pecking order but time is very quickly evaporating. Charlie Wood still got the lead just as we approach the halfway mark of this race. Charlesworth not too far behind but may need to pick up the gears very quickly. Still looking tightish between Charlie Wood from D La Soul. This could be a very important win for D La Soul. I mean, entered into Division 2 this year. And some may say they look like a favourite to take out Division 2 today. This is sort of the start that they would really desire. It's, ne it's now a matter if Charlie Wood is able to hold on. Harry Charlesworth still occupying second spot at the minute. But Charlie Wood. The spectacular kicking style. The efficient arm strikes. Charlesworth still in second. Maxwell Mutemar from St. Joey's Fantry. Gully in third spot. But it is Charlie Wood who looks to be holding on. The D La Soul getting the opening Division 2 win for the day and the 92nd Swim Championships. Harry Charlesworth looks to be coming in second. Mutmo finishing third. Nicholas Molnar finishing fourth with a time of a minute 51. And Thomas Urquhart finishing there with two minutes 14. Next, we now have we have a four by fifty under thirteen medley relay within Division One be with you just uh, very shortly. Event number three about to start in the 4x50 medley relay. Boys under 13. Here are the lanes and the schools in which they are allocated to the, in Division 1. The section winners of last year in junior, St. Bede's managed to took it out, which did contribute majorly to their ultimate triumph in Division 1. A parade took out intermediate. St. Bernard's taking out 
the seniors there. The points allocation and how they're awarded today for the A events. The first place school recipient gets 15 points. Second place with 13. Third place with 12. Fourth place with 11. Fifth place with 10. Sixth place with 9. Seventh place with 8. Points of B events within the same division. First place recipients get seven points. Second place, six. Third place, five. Fourth place with four. Fifth place with three. Sixth place with two. And seventh place with one. Now, if someone from every school comes, they can do it for their school. There's only seven So they should take a full bucket there. Empty buckets, bring it back. So that means that the next race can put their stuff in there. Medley relay has been underway. Swift movements from all parties. Lane two in St. Joseph's Geelong, just looking at the top at the minute, but it is lane five who are taking it as genuine contenders. St. Beats, that proves there's no surprise there. Lane eight in Mazenod, still giving it a fair crack at it themselves. They're hanging about what looks to be in the top three. However, lane three in parade seems to be the more obvious tell in being third spot at the minute. Not too far behind them is Salesian from lane four. St. Beads looking first as they're about to end the first transition of a medley. We've got the second swimmers underway now. And St. Beads are still currently holding a slender advantage. Must admit, St. Joe is Geelong in second spot. But a very fantastic, ferocious attack here from Mazenod 2, who are currently in second place. Giving St. Beads a good run for their money, as the cliche would say. Lane 3, Parade. Looks to be occupying the third spot within the top three, too. But right now, this has been a storming effort from the second recipient for Mazenod, it being Select G. Mazenod with fantastic changeover there yet again, as about to head into our third, third swimmer, but more importantly, the butterfly component. Mazenod currently still leading. However, St. Beads are clawing their way back. Not too far behind it seems to be is Whitefriars College in lane seven in third spot, followed by in lane four is Salesian. Right next door, you have St. Joseph Geelong in lane two, occupying a similar positioning there, but it's all down to the final 50 metres. It's about to go Mazenod against St. Beads. We could be in for a telling one here. St. Beads, with more time under the water, that could prove to be more fruitful in terms of their prospects. Mazenod is still not giving up yet. This is going neck and neck, probably down to the wire. Can Mazenod get their first win at the moment? But St. Beads seem to be absolute powerhousing at the moment and a fabulous finish it is from Hugh Jones, who has won it again. Back-to-back -back wins to St. Beads. Mazenod conjure up a second here and they have done so, followed by White Thought Fries in third spot. St. Joey's Geelong coming in fourth, followed by St. Bernard's and Parade in that instance. But St. Bede's making it two from two within their respective races. A fabulous start for the defending Division One champions. Event four coming right up in the 14. Oh boys, four by 50 medley relay for division two. Up against the six schools. In lane three being D La, St. Mary's lane four, Fantry Gully lane five, St. Pat's lane six, Simmons lane seven, and Emmanuel lane eight. With what looks to be a 
Division 2 medley relay now commencing. De La Sol with firing start to say the least. St. Patrick's not too far behind him and looks to be second spot according to the bunker angle I have at the moment. St. Mary's not far off as well, could be somewhat contending, but they do have the groundwork to make up at the minute. But De La Sol, they similar to St. B's, they're looking ominous. That is their early signs at the moment as they're just commencing the second changeover now. Onto the breaststroke. What could be a difficult strike to execute. But for those that can perfect it, it is fabulous to watch. And incredibly beneficial. d still leading at the minute. We've got St. Mary's within the top three at the moment. St. Patrick's giving it a good fight to potentially get the second spot as it is forecasted at the moment. But D. La Sol we certainly have the soul to win. So we're about to transition into the transition of nature, one would say, it being the butterflies, because we do see them in nature as well as in the water. D. La just increasing their advantage as the meters go by at the minute. St. Patrick's looks to be in second spot. Fantry Gully in third, followed by St. Mary's, then you have Emmanuel College. The De La Sol, as we're just about to approach 50 meters to go, they are embarking on two out of a possible two wins. Finishing it off with a freestyle now. These are where the contenders can come in potentially for second. But Ferntree Gully have made up serious ground. Very impressive to say the least. But it is De La Sol who just seemed to be too good. And they looked fantastic, especially from when the buzzer went in this race. Event number four of the 92nd Swim Championships. As part of the Associated Catholic Colleges. But De La Sol making a two from two. As cool as you like. Collective. Impeccable. St. Joey's Furniture securing second spot. St. Pat's Ballarat in third, followed by St. Mary's College and Emmanuel. And Simmons, unfortunately, did not start. Event number five, we roll over to the 4x50 medley relay. We'll be under 14 this time, it being Division 1. Four by 50 medleys, under 14s. Is there gonna, gonna be anyone able to wrestle the mantle from St. Bede's? Or is St. Bede's going to make it, make it a hat trick? Right now, they're still currently leading St. Bede's. As ferocious as we've evidently seen already, not too far behind them is Salesian and Lane for lane three, closely followed to make up the top three, it being Parade. Not much in between it, between lane two of St. Joey's Geelong and lane six in St. Bernard's. St. Bede's bursting out of the blocks, delightfully into their second swimmer, and they still got a healthy advantage, if anything, but the most vulnerable position you could ever be in is when you are leading a race. Salesian still in second, but they're slowly making up the ground. Making this race quite interesting. It's about to get halfway there. And TJ Mumford with fantastic breaststroke efficiency there as 
now put Salesian in a fabulous position. It being in first spot. Salesian is still, this has been a massive contrast to what it was 50 metres ago. This has been fabulous from Salesian. And it seems to be we could be having a new winner. Salesian heading into their final swimmer now, it being Calvin Gillespie. A renowned name also in the athletics industry, too, from our event not long ago. But Calvin Gillespie to make it a different winner, but also much needed points in the bag for Salesian and their pursuit to potentially take out Division 1. Calvin Gillespie seals the deal. What a sensational triumph that is from Salesian. We've now found the answer on the third time lucky in terms of potentially finding challenges to St. Bede's today. Salesian getting the job done. St. Bede's coming in second there, followed by Parade, St. Joey's Geelong, Mazenod. St. Bernard's, then White Fires. But the headline there is St. Bede's came second in this instance. Event six coming up in just a, a couple of moments as we're about to stand by for the commencement of that of the event, the 15-year-old boys 4x50 medley relay. Event six, 15 year olds, four by 50 medley relay. Be interesting to see what is on offer here. This is being division one, two. Salesian off to a, a very pleasing start, to say the least. Just right next to him, and only the barest of margins behind him, it being St. Bede's. We also see a lane seven, lane eight. Wi-Fi's and Mazenov really putting in good shouts and making up the top four at the minute. What looks to be followed by parade at St. Joseph's and then St. Bernard's. The second changeover in it here but St. Bede's with breaststroke it being Oliver Smith and more time underwater proving succinct as it could ever be is now holding the lead over Salesians Raphael Hampson. They have a clear top two at the moment and Third spot, decent changeover, quite slick as well. Been from Whitefire, Zach Morgan, is doing the breaststroke at the minute, but right next to him as well, Diane Pereira, Mazenod in lane eight. St. Bede's still leading at the moment. St. Bede's are only enhancing our ascendancy in this race. We have a fair gap, roughly 15 metres, separating against the second spot of Salesian. Mazenod have just stormed their way into the top two as well. This would be a fantastic result for Mazenod if they're able to finish second, but St. Bede's right now. They're looking like an unstoppable force in the water. Ethan Jones, it being the name, is going to come away with quite an astonishing margin. St. Bede's now making it three wins from four with a seriously impressive time of two minutes, 12. But in second spot, fantastic that was from Whitefire's really good ground made up. Mazenod in lane eight coming third, followed by Salesian Parade and St. Joey's Geelong. But what to take away from that is Whitefires building up 
good, respectable ground in that race. Coming would have been the mid-table trenches to finish in second. It's quite impressive in itself. Event seven coming up right, right up. It being division two, 16 year old boys, four by 50 meter relay. We haven't had any records broken today, but however, could we break the number of last year's, it being four, all within 50 meter distances, one being from back, backstroke, breaststroke, no one from backstroke as well, and then butterfly. Three of them being broken by Rio Hayashi from De La Sol. Along with a 50 metre butterfly, Hayashi managed to break his own record, which was dated back from 2022. Division two, on to it now. St. Mary's within the top of a range at the minute, but lane six, St. Patrick's currently in front at the minute. St. Mary still in second spot, Ferntree Gully, and followed by Simmons, De La Sol, and then Emmanuel, and it's Simmons, I mean last at the moment, but it is between the top two, lanes four and lane six, St. Mary's and St. Patrick's. It's gonna be a really good battle here. We've got Milo Dressel De Bruyne up against Miller Stott, who are both occupying the, bre the breaststroke components of the medleys. But right now St. Mary's, Milo putting in a stirring effort in the water. At the moment, and St. Mary's lead is only increasing. Great work by the Saints. They do hold it currently halfway through with a time of a minute and three seconds. It's all about whether they're able to hold on because anything can happen so quickly when it comes to water sports. St. Mary's just building their gap. It's getting bigger and bigger. In third spot, slowly creeping up. What looks to be a manual college. But St. Mary's with about 35 metres to go are going to win this outright. A massive win that is for the Saints, especially for their campaign in Division to. We did mention earlier in the coverage that re in recent years their form hasn't lived up to the scratch of what it once was, but maybe those fortunes could change today. But St Mary's College come away with a first win, pleasing and it was certainly needed indeed. St Patrick's coming in second spot in event number seven for the day with a time of two minutes. 12. And Emmanuel coming in third, followed by Ferntree Gully and De La Sol. A fantastic win by St. Mary's. A great finish there from Noah Chapel. Complimented by the contributions of James Hay, Milo, Dressel De Boren, and Joe Charlesworth. Event number eight. You've been the 16 year old boys, Division 1, 4x50. Medley. Number eight for the day. It's been an exhilarating start, if anything, from Wi Fi's, which is not too far behind from St. Bede, who are occupying the second position at the moment. Three and four being made up from Masnod College, along with St. Bernard's. Wi Fi's from Andre Tallarico with a sublime backstroke. Speed being shown. White Fires still holding a healthy-ish advantage, to say the least. There's a bit of a cushion, similar to Aussie Rules, holding a 2-3 to three goal lead in the closing stages, but a moment could change everything. St. Bede's in second. On the far side, St. Joey's Geelong, 
Looks to be just by a slither holding third spot. St. Bernard's in sixth position. Whitefires showing the superiority and the intentions they mean at the minute. Fantastic butterfly. Blissful, if anything. Breaststroke in the second component. Now it is the butterfly. Whitefires just increasing their gap at the minute. They're looking phenomenal as of now. St. Bede's in second spot. Followed by them it is St. Bernard's. Whitefires College is about to approach a final changeover. Looking as healthy as ever. It was quite slender after the first changeover, but now it just gets better and better. Whitefires to hold on for their first win of the day. They're welcoming from the school based in Doncaster. And John Halisi with a great end to the race. Well done to Whitefires, fantastic stuff. St. Bede's coming in second end on the first time they've gone a third second best. However, it is complemented by their two top finishes already. They're placing exceptionally well and in third spot to round it all off, we've got St. Bernard's and Parade College followed by St. Joey's Jalon and Mazenod. And Salesian. But well done to Wi-Fi's fantastic effort with a time of just under two minutes and nine seconds. Event number nine will come right up. Old boys, 4x50 Division 1. Event number 9. Very hard to separate the pack within the opening 25 metres too. Right now it is St. Bede's in the middle. Just level pegging with St. Joey Shalon who are also coming from lane 2 as we're about to go into the breaststroke component of a medley relay. St. Joey's Geelong has looked to be more time in the water. That proved to be somewhat helpful. But now it is St. Bede who, thanks to their efficiency, especially with the arm strokes and clawing the water away from them, are now in first spot, not too far behind, just right next to St. Joey's Geelong in this instance is Parade College who have now Prepped up and now in second spot and certainly wrestling the mantle of St. Bede's in this instance. So we're about to go into the breaststroke component. Looking as two ways at the minute. It could be a St. Mary's win, it could be a parade win. Not too far behind him is St. Joey's Jalon. Never rule out this the spectacular. Got Whitefires and Mazenod also in fourth and fifth too. Lane four. Look to be in sixth spot is Salesian, but we're about to go into the freestyle leg. Still two horse race coming between Parade and St. Beads. Parade just hold it on by the fingertip at the minute, but it's St. Beads. Looks to be Derby Heatless up against Max Brown from Parade. Can't really separate between the two. However, Derby is still in front. Maybe it could be the arms, it could be the strides that get the job done here. And St. Bede's looking for a third win, get the job done there. Parade with a gallant effort coming in second spot. Well done to the pair of them, fantastic finish it was. Coming in lane seven and third, it being Whitefires. Followed by St. Joey's Geelong, as an odd, and Salesian.
coming up next is the open age for Division 2. The 4x50 medley relay. Underway we go for the open age 4x50 in the medley, Division 2. Great ground's already been made up from St. Pat's, but not too far behind him. Who's on the far side of De La Soul. St. Mary's occupying the third position. Lane 8 in Emmanuel College currently just holding it in fourth spot. Now yeah, St. Pat's. The school... The score who has been in this competition for now the third year running and putting in fabulous performances across the board, not just in the sweat in the water, but also on the track at being athletics. St. Pat's and Dela occupying the what looks to be clear and obvious top two spots at the minute. St. Joey's Fantry Gully in third spot coming in lane five, but St. Pat's in Thomas Urquhart with putting in a fine performance as well. Now transitioning into Edward Meddings. He's now doing the butterfly. But the score from Ballarat have got their lead increased. They have put in on an exhilarating display as we're about to approach just past 80 seconds of a medley relay time. In addition, the, re, the freestyle component to top it all off, Harry Robinson, who's got a very clear cushion. And he's going as fast as he possibly could. This is amazing. It really is some school in Ballarat. In first spot, clear as day. Second spot, we've got Nicky Raisman from D. La Soul. But St. Pat's Ballarat, what a performance! That is from the school in Ballarat. A dazzling display in the water coming in from lane six. Lane three finishing up in second spot in being De La Soul. Ferntree Gully have finished in third with a time of two minutes 14. But for St. Pat's Ballarat with a time of a minute 56, what looks to have broken the ACC record by two seconds according to the display board at the moment. We'll get that record confirmed in due course throughout today's coverage, but wow, wow, we. What a display. Event 11 coming up. We must move. As much as we love records, they'll be revealed in due course. Well done to St. Pat's yet again. Event 11, the Open Division 1 4x50 medley relay. We are on standby for this event. The last of the med medley relays. Event 11, the last of the medley relays, open 4x50 Division 1. And this is a blistering start, if anything, from St. Bernard's College. The longer time spent in the water there, getting that efficiency where no one could really see it. But we can certainly see the outcome of that strategy at the minute. St. Bernard's with an impeccable start to the race. Currently in first spot, not too far behind him is St. Beads, who have already looking at an unstoppable force. But this breaststroke from lane five was efficient as well. 
Vala Cattell, line five, head to head against James Smith at the minute. Right now, St. Beads currently in front. Great turnaround indeed. St. Beads still in front at the moment. Currently followed by St. Bernard's. Bernard's do have work to do, but right now it is St. Bede's race. Gab in Canny going with a butterfly. Where you can't really rule out St. Bernard's because they're just behind him. It's going down between the Battle of the Saints, one would say. It's the Beads and the Bernard's, the school from Essendon. But the Beads who currently hold the advantage. Owen Bater in the freestyle up against Nick Page. He was a fine athlete in the athletics event last month. But Owen Bater looks to have held on. He's about to go into the last five metres. And Bater does it. Out of cancer. Great win that is to St. Bede's yet again. Another first place finish. Not too far behind him. The St. Bernard's in third spot there. We have got St. Joey's Geelong, followed by School in Lane 4 in Salesian, Whitefries, as well as Mazinot. That does it for the medley relays. St. Bede's finishing with a time of 2 minutes and 0 0.04 milliseconds. Only 2 seconds off for an ACC record. We've already seen a record broken for today. It was four last year, four records broken. And this year, we've potentially already had one. Coming up right up is the 50 metre freestyle. With the under 13, starting off, we go with Division 2B. Hope you're all enjoying the coverage so far. It's brought to you by Studio 12 with the live stream link coming from our ACC YouTube channel over 2024 Swim Championships in 92nd edition. We'll be back in just a couple of moments. We're about to start the 50 meter freestyles. freestyle looking as very strong at the minute it looks to be for Michael Saglos from St Mary's currently in first but Archie Carter from Emmanuel College putting in a really good shift in at the minute but the Saints just holding the advantage at the minute not too far behind him is De La Soul's Thomas Hove occupying the third spot for St Mary's could get the much needed win here coming in from lane four and a have done so in fantastic fashion with a time at 34.40 from Michael Saglos but the Saints keep marching on and that is the second of what is hopefully many wins to come. We've got the next event already started. It being the Division 2A event. Lane 6 coming from Joshua Noble in St. Patrick's. Just currently in front at the minute, but there's not really much in between. Hugo Devine bringing the Devine to the table. From St. Mary's as well. Could the Saints clinch on for another win? They just missed out, but it was 0 0.01 milliseconds separating between the two. Josh Joseph Noble coming away with first spot there. How close is that? 
St. Patrick's get the wood over Saints there. But Jesus, Saints in the last two races especially have put in some tremendous shifts in the water. Division 1B, event number 14 it is. Uh, for 50 metre freestyle, still under 13s, but big points up for grabs. It being the A event of Division 1. Looking in between lanes 5 and 7, Connor Watkins up against Thomas Boris, which from Whitefires, however, St. Joe's Jelon is still occupying the top three still. They could be out to pull on a charge here, but Connor Watkins. Looking superior at the minute. We can hear the noise coming from upstairs too. And Connor Watkins holds on just over Thomas and Whitefires. Over time at 33.82. Followed by Parade St. Joey's, St. Bernard's, Salesian, and then Mazenod up. Coming right up very swiftly and smoothly by the looks of it. Got the Division 1A. Lanes, St. Beads, Wi-Fi's, Mazenod. Looking as a clear outright top three at the minute. But St. Joseph's Geelong looking for their first win in today's event. Could, it, could they put a claim here? But Hugh Jones putting in a monstrous performance. And yet again, another win for St. Beads. Followed by Mazenod, St. Joe's Salon, Whitefires, Parade, Salesian, and St. Bernard's. Event 16, Division 2B, 14 to our boys, 50 metre freestyle. St. Patrick's got the early lead, but we see Tyler Dip from Simmons put in a, an incredibly decent outing at the minute. Don't discount Brian Noman from D. La Soul, who currently holds second spot. Noah Connell. It is so Tyler Dip who wins it. It is Simmons' first win for the day, followed by Curtis Fisher from Emmanuel in second spot. It's not the usual schools that will win it in this edition, but we love a diverse range of winners today. De La Soul, St. Pat's, St. Joseph's, Ferntree Gully and St. Mary's rounding off the order there. But a massive win and a welcoming victory indeed for Simmons, who did end up winning the most improved award back in 2022, an award that is eligible for those. With less than a thousand students, division 2A it is coming on the far side there. D La Soul is our leading at the minute, not too far behind it from St. Pat's. It being Will Richardson. Lachlan Roney in third spot, but we see as a clear outright winner, it's Jack Traonides with barnstorming effort from lane three to cap it off for D La. Followed by William Richardson, Lockham Roney, Leo Loftus, and Vin McNamara from St. Mary's, from a Simmons recipient, unable to start. Event 18, 14 year old boys, 50 metre, Division 1, B. All square at the minute between lanes two and six. The way it is looking, lane not lane eight, not far behind the pecking order. Sort of side by side, we stick together. Not sure about the calling, bit of a calling with theme song to like from the lyrics there. Whether it is lane four, it is who are coming out to win here. It being Calvin Gillespie. Well, T.J. Mumford in this instance being a Gillespie replacement with a win there over St. Bede's Mentone. Salesian getting their second victory for today's event. Event 19 it is. 
We do not stop. We do not muck around. That is for certain. Line eight of seems to be white fires. Right now, Salesian that are currently leading a great performance from Samuel Pozzoli and gets it done there over Thomas Herkenroder from Maslott who ends in second. We parade finishing in third spot there. St. Beatsman Zone, St. Joey's Geelong, St. Bernard's and Whitefriars in that instance. Event number 20. Fifteen-year-old boys, Division Two B, fifty-meter free style and frenetic start, and it may even turn out to be a frenetic finish coming in from lane five, Fern Tree, from Milo. I apologies, Milo Dressel to Boring, who has won it complete outright. So convincing that is. Milo, what a performance. St. Mary's putting three wins in a short space of time. Putting them back in the running for Division 2. Fabulous win from the Saints, especially for Milo. Event 21, Division 2A. Got the A points up for grabs. As per mentioned, there are a lot more points at stake for the A events as opposed to the B events. The lane six, it being Miller stop from St. Patrick's in with that top two at the moment, but St. Mary's College. It looks to be from Noah Chapel who might just fall short, and it is St. Pat's who win it by 0.26 Millis. Seconds. Followed by Emmanuel St. Joey's Ferntree Gully Simmons and De La Sol. Apologise if there is any bit of lag within the information being set. Currently, for the view of the commentator today, we've been occupied by the other scoreboard officials. We don't actually have the vision right in front of us. Instead, we've got a monitor in front to show us as we please. Event number 22, Division 1B, 15-year-old, 50-metre freestyle. Event 22, Division 1B, with a record being 25.63 from D. John Sefsky from CBC and E. Chi from White Fries. But in this race, looking top two at the moment, it's looking quite a clear discrepancy between the top two and the four others, just breathing down their neck. Lane six, St. Bernard's are looking. Lane five, it is. It being Ashton Robinson from St. Bede's wins it there. Fabulous effort that is, followed by Tom, Tommaso Zanetti from White Fires. Followed by St. Joe's Geelong Parade, Mazanot's Legion, and St. Bernard's. Event 23 up next, it being Division 1A. Off we go. All under the water. We're trying to find ways of strategies of efficiency in this. Alvaro from Mazenod coming on the lane near our broadcast side. Had a respectable lead there, but St. Joey's Geelong and Liam Walker looks very ominous at the minute. Can St. Joey's Geelong hold on for their first win of this afternoon? St. Bede's really not too far behind, but St. Joey's Geelong have won it with 
straight up time of 27 seconds. Not far behind from the record, it being only a second off. But St. Joey's Geelong, congratulations to them for their first win for this morning's event. Division 2B, 16 year old boys, 50 metre free style. The early impressions have been set out. St. Mary's do occupy the top position. Joseph Wetzler from Emmanuel College within it. D. La Sol within it. St. Pat's looks to be in second. It's a fight for second, but give you a definite. James Hay from St. Mary's College with a exceptional performance and another win for St. Mary's. There was some inside word that they may have got their strongest lineup in a while and it is certainly shown in the scoreboard at the minute for the Saints. Event number 25, 16 year old boys Division 2A. Very intrigued by how the Division 2 ladder is panning out in a minute. Plenty of diverse winners. Division 1, never discount the true contenders. St. Bede's these days. St. Joe's getting a massive win in the race of, of, of previous. Can that be the fire starter to their momentum? Oh, especially for what's to come. Event 25. Looks to be lane 6. Lane four, a little bit of lane eight as well. Blake Scott from St. Patrick's. I mean, Joe Charlesworth really giving it a good crack here. It depends who comes out on top. And again, 0 0.01 milliseconds separates the top two. St. Pat's Blake Scott with a time of 27.58. Well done to both Blake and Joe. F phenomenal finish, yeah. Lane six, off to a very healthy lead at the moment. Lachlan Vanderlyn, it being the name from St. Bernard's. Oscar Schroeder's from Parade. Jordan Lemon from St. Joseph's. Jalon sort of in there within the top three, but right now, it looks to be Andre who wins it for Whitefires there. Fantastic effort. Time at 27.71. Followed by Oscar, who came just under 30 seconds. Speaking of a new ACC record, congratulations to St. Patrick's College in Ballarat. And they smash this time by a whopping two seconds. Two seconds may not mean much, but in the water, in the relay, especially when it involves four different components and four different swimmers, that is a very good Way to not just seal the record, but by some margin. Event 27, 16 year old boys, Division 1A. Go, Jack. Go, Jack. Lane 7, just currently holding the ascendancy at the moment. Joel Hollard, Go, only in first. Go, However, in lane 3, Jack Darling from Parade, and currently in second spot, but Joel Pollard shows who is supreme on this occasion with a time of 26.91. White fires with another big win. Event 28. These events are coming thick and fast. Event 
28. Bright sunshine here at Melbourne Sporting. Aquatic sense of a how about that. From Jack Lanyon. The amount of time spent on that water is astonishing. And now we can just see his superiority are above the water now too. But Jack Lanyon. What a barnstorming effort it is. In all of it. Smashes it. It's a demolishment at its finest. The time of 26.63. Not too far off the record, just under two seconds. But from what was shown in the very early stages, it was clear there being the one winner. Then 29. Seventeen year old boys, fifty meter freestyle division two A. And it is a fair contention between Jack Gibson from D La Soul along with Thomas Urquhart from, from St. Patrick's, but D La's very own Jack Gibson. An impeccable outing. Wins it from lane three, followed by Thomas Eckhart in line six. D could coming in third, followed by Will Stone from St. Mary's coming in fourth spot. T 17 year old Division 1B event okay. Event 30 in this instance Division 1 out okay. on display who's going to demonstrate the entourage needed within the water I mean, it's the first four coming from lanes three, five, six, and seven, all neck and neck at the moment. Cameron, Noah, Sam, and Riley. But lane five are putting in a massive shift in at the moment from Noah from St. Beads. But Cameron Milton from Parade. But what looks to be a fantastic win, St. Beads getting back where they belong, especially on the current day trends. Coming away with a time of 27.5 seconds, not too far behind. Where's Cameron Milton? With a time of 27.38. Event 31, the Division 1A, 17 year old, 50 metre freestyle, lane 7, putting in lane 8, excuse me, with a decent shift, but it all's all coming, the fair traffic, especially in the top three from lanes 3, 4, and 5. Harry Cooper, Derby, or looks to be Derby, coming away with yet again another win with a time of 26 60, not too far behind it being. Tyrone Van Ravenstein in second spot. 27-17 from Cooper Fry in third place. Competitive. This is what we love to see, especially from our audience. Event 32. The Division 2B now open. 50 metre freestyle. Lane five and lane six. Five, the looks of it. Putting on a fair shout, but also lane three from D La. Currently neck and neck with St. Patrick's. And D La hold it on and get away with it by 0.14 milliseconds. A 
Harry Robinson come in second. Jack DeMarchi in third. Followed by Todd McMahon from St. Mary's and Sean Lopez. Event number 33. Event 33, Division 2A of the same. It's the Open. St. Mary's off to a very decent start, if anything. But St. Patrick's Ballow Outlook at them go. St. Mary's, St. Pat's, a bit of a shootout. That's what it is at the moment. Charlesworth up against Edward Mettings. Two phenomenal athletes, both in the water. But it is Edward Mettings who comes away with it for St. Pat's Ballarat. A great time there. I have 25 seconds and 10 to Harry Charlesworth finishing in 25.53. Event 34, Division 1B, open 50 metre freestyle. Event 34, St. Joseph Geelong in the top three. But it is Owen Bader and James Smith. Yet again, another instance of Battle of the Saints between Beads and Bernard. Beads currently holding on of it. Only a sliver of a margin at the minute, but it is slowly extending. Owen Bader coming away with first spot. Brilliant fashion, you can hear it. Yeah, there you go. There's a good fist bump as well. You could easily hear the crowd. James Smith from St. Bernard's coming in second there. Event number 35, which will be the last of the 50 metre freestyle from Division 1. Event 35, Division 1A, where the big points are up for grabs. You can see there's a lot at stake, and it's already been shown by the swimmers too. From lanes 3 to 8, take your pick, similar to applying for the lottery every week. Lane 4, Andrew Tan from Salesian just currently in first at the minute. Is he able to hold on? And he does so! And need a victory there for Salesian, followed by St. Bede's Men's Own Parade, St. Bernard's, St. St. Joseph's Geelong. Coming right up, event 36. We've got many to come of a 50 metre breaststroke. Starting off with the 13 year old boys in Division 2B. We'll be back with you in just a couple of moments. Event 36, it being the 50 metre breaststroke. Dela St. Pat's, along with Nathan Nguyen from Simmons, coming into the top three at the moment. Looks to be from our angle, but Dela just holding the advantage. Not with no cushion, however. Still Dela. In the first spot, Simmons in currently second, St. Pat's in third. But Delar's soul, very own Thomas Ho, winning that one with a time of 47 for 
45. Won it quite comfortably by with a margin of over three seconds. And then 37 come right up. Event 36 of the under 13s Division 2B St. Pat's put in a very good early impressions at the minute. St. Mary's in second spot, but Manuel not too far behind him from lane 8. St. Pat's still leading here from the very own Bailey Jarvis, not too far behind is the three, and currently breathing down her neck from lanes three to five. From Dela, St. Mary's and St. Joseph's Foundry Gully, but it is St. Patrick's very own Bailey Jarvis with a delightful win. 50 meter breaststroke. There. Congratulations to Bailey with a time of 43.71. Event 37, under 13, Division 2A, 50 metre breaststroke. Simmons, not sure how many times school's been mentioned so far in today's coverage, but we're currently leading. Apologies, it is Division 1B. Whitefires, who are leading there. I'll take. Re statement retracted. Whitefires, Lynn Boriswich is taking this out right comfortably. A gr another great win from Whitefires. Just putting him within contention for Division 1. Lynn with a time of 44.49. And a performance full of class. Winning by three seconds as well. It's a fair margin by the end of it. Event 39. Looks to be Whitefires and Mazenot who are currently holding the top two spots, but not too far behind them. Miss Hugh Jones from St. Pete's who's looked in a formidable fashion at the minute in the water so far today. But Select G, who's also won a race. have Thomas Borowicz for Whitefires. In the previous race it was the brother in Liam, but it is Select G who wins it for Mazenod in event number 39. Updates coming through. St. Patrick's, it could be their day. They've not won a Division Two championship ever. Currently in front of St. Mary's by 10 points in the overall score. Event 40, 
approaching quickly on the Division 2 sides while we're waiting for event 40. So we know that St. Pat's haven't won one, but they did come second in Division 2 last year. CBC St. Kilda slash St. Mary's College have won Division 2 11 times since 1990. And before that, they won Division 1 on 19 separate occasions. St. Joseph's Furniture Gully won the Division 2 Championship once, which came in 2019. And Manuel have won Division 2 crown six times, which also including a tie in 1995 alongside CBC St. Kilda. With Simmons, as per mentioned, they won their most improved award two years ago. attention to Division 1 as well and the accolades that each of the sides have gone through with Mazenod who are today in Division 1 they have won Division 1 twice both coming in 2002 and 2018 in addition they've won Division 2 twice from with the years coming from 2013 as well has taken it outright last year. Salesian were the Division 2 champions from 2022 and are in their second year running in Division 1. St. Bede's have won Division 1 nine times since 1990. However, five of the six of them, I should say, five of their possible six triumphs of taking out Division 1 came from 1984 to 1919. Overall, won it nine times. St. Bernard's have won it three times. Their last one dating back in 2012. Wi-Fi's have won Division 1 13 times. A fair few of them coming from their dynasty period. In fact, all of them. From 1999 till 2017. St. Joseph Geelong have won Division 2 five times and are featured as part of a Division 1 lineup for today. D. La Soul have won Division 1 a whopping 20 times. Their last one coming in 2019. Nine of their ten championships won were, came within the period of 1974 to 1983, with CBC St Kilda winning one within that duration back in 1977, representing as an outlier for the school in Melbourne. Man 40. 14-year-old, 50-metre breaststroke, Division 2B. Emmanuel's Angus Fraser sort of looking at within the top two at the moment, but Lachlan Roney, who's looked very strong so far today, currently in front. De La Salle on the very far side is to Jack Trionides in second spot. But right now it is Lachlan Roney from St. Joey's Fantry Gully who looks to be currently holding it out in the top spot. And he does so with a time of 49, 45 seconds. Pardon me, 91. Angus Fraser with a time of 46, 60. 47 seconds and eight from Brian Norman coming from dealer Don't 
to get started for event 41, Division 2A. For those that tune, just tuned in, welcome to the 92nd Swim Championships coverage brought to you from the Associated Catholic College's YouTube channel, powered through the broadcasting coverage as well of Studio 12 for today. For those who have been here since the start, I hope you are enjoying the coverage as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Sunlight beaming out here at Alba Park, not too far away from Melbourne. CBD, we can also see the green fences in the background, having, with the packing up cycle, having commenced from the Formula One Grand Prix. Jack Trinides, who is in this race now, replacing Brian Norman, hitting the front. Not too far, it is a fair gap. In second spot at the moment, we have Luke Wu, Ferntree Gully, but it is Trinides getting the job done for D Last Soul in tidy fashion, if anything. You can hear the reception from the crowd as well, the crowd of support. And third was Noah Connell, Luke Wu coming in second spot in this instance. Jack's try coming with a whopping margin, probably one of the biggest we've seen so far today. It being 5.39 seconds. In this instance, uh, event 42 coming up, Division 1B of the 14 year old boys in the 50 metre breaststroke. Event 42, Division 1B of the under-14s. And strong impressions being made from lane five, being Will Chamberlain of St. Beds. You can hear some of the whistle chants coming along. And as emphasized before, the atmospheres make huge difference for these certain events. Don't discount lane eight as well from Alexander Dewar from Whitefriars as well. But right now, looks to be from lane four, it being Samuel, or TJ Mumford it is from Salesian, who wins this one. Followed by Will Chamberlain, who finished with a time of 40 seconds, 90. Event 43. Come on, let's call him for you. Event 43. Fair shout coming in from lane eight, and Thomas Herkenroder from Mazenod. Not far behind him is from lane five, Artie Hanlon from St. Bede's, but it is Mazenod who are currently leading. Now, don't feel they've won all that many races so far today, Mazenod. This will be a huge beast for them. 
terms of it. Staking climbing up the Division 1 table and Thomas has only gone out and extended his lead and Mazenod getting the job done there. An important win to stake their claim in the Division 1 competition today. Congratulations to Thomas. Ended up winning by two and a half seconds. Event 44, Division 2B, 50 metre breaststroke. The ACC record beam from Jade Laidler all the way back in 2005. And Casper Brutus currently in the lead. Not too far behind him is Cameron Belleville from St. Patrick's. But Casper. does have enough and Emmanuel College have held on to win that with a time of 43.67 over Regan Shafter but congratulations to Emmanuel on what I think is their first win for the day Event 45, Division 2A, 15 year old, year olds, 50 metre breaststroke. But it is looking very strong at the minute for Milo Dressel De Bruyne, one of the fine swimmers from St. Mary's College. And he's putting it on display yet again. He keeps backing it up for what he's got. And what a commanding lead he's already established and a commanding victory to emphasise it. The Saints are looking strong today. Milo finishing with a time of 32 seconds 23. And Miller stopped. He finished second with a time of 37 43. Fair tactic that is for Mazenod's Seville Zane. More time underwater, really streamlining past it, especially beyond the realm of his opponents. And he's currently in first spot, but currently neck and neck is Daniel from St. Beats. St. Joey's Jalon Danua Pereira. Looking to be a three horse race coming, one coming from the very far side of the lane, but it looks to be Seville Zane who wins it for Mazenod. Oh. with a great performance he do emphasize at times the start is critical and he followed that formula streamlining passes perform but past his competitors under the water and getting the job done there with a great time of 39 seconds 26. Event 47. Looking quite neck and neck at the moment. St. Joey's and Parade, who are currently occupying the top two positions. Liam Walker, Jeremy Watson, what have you both got up your sleeve? St. Joey's, Geelong Liam Walker gets a job done with a time of 35.58. Great win from St. Joey's Geelong. Fantastic stuff in the water. Congratulations to him.
Followed by Whitefire, St. Bede, Mentone, Salesian, Mazadon, St. Bernard's. Men 48 coming right up. Men 48, Division 2B. Jeremy Kassa, well within the frame. But Finley Dalziel, currently in top spot for the main time. Finley taking it out, St. Pat's potentially enhancing their ascendancy up on the top of the, Divi the Division 2 table. A fantastic, sublime win there. From a time of 40, 43 seconds, 26. Sixteen-year-old boys, fifty-metre breaststroke division, two A and St Pat's. Want to just back up what the outcome was last race? Blake Scott. Some exhilarating pace about it in the water. He's going to win this outright. Not too far behind is James Hafe of St Mary's, who will happily take second in this instance too. But Blake Scott, the supreme. Of athletes in the packing order here. Congratulations to him. Yard, 50 metre breaststroke division 1B. Joel Pollard currently in the front ahead of Lachlan van der Lynn from St. Bernard's in lane 6. Joel Pollard, who's already won a race not long ago, does it yet again for Whitefires. Well done to him. Third place we've got Reese Jones from St. Bede's. And fourth spot we've got Vinny Bago. Find Mazanov. Event 51, Andre Tallarico is looking strong for the meantime. Jack Darlin in second for Parade, who's put in some respectable shifts as well himself. But Tallarico, no one seems to have an answer for his ability at the moment. Andre, well done to him. Jack Darlin coming in second, what seems to be from lane three. Followed by Jackson Cooning, Mark Smith. With St. Beats, Mentone, Salesian, and Mazanon to round it all. And Jack Lanyon just seems to have a big bag of trips, tricks up his sleeve. Now that. It did feel it was a long time under the water, but he streamlined it. And look at his lead now. Jack Lanyon with an astronomical lead at the minute. 
with Andrew coming in second, but it is Jack Lanyon once again with a fine and a dazzling performance in the 50 meter breaststroke. Phenomenal. M53, 17 year old boys, Division 2A. And Thomas Urquhart looking in front at the moment. He's already won a race so far today. Jack Gibson not too far away from De La Sol. Dusty Marsh, Ferntree Gully in third spot, but not by a lot with the swimmers on either side of him. But Urquhart just holding the lead at the moment, not too far behind is Jack Gibson. Apologies there. Thomas Aircart wins it from lane six for St. Patrick's College in Ballarat with a time of 33.7. Event 54, Parade just holding a thin advantage at the moment. St. Bede's in lane five, Daniel Hamry not too far behind. But it is Cameron Milton who looks strong at the moment and does it. with convincing fashion. Well done to Cameron, coming in from a lane three in that one for event 54. Event 55 on our way, division 1A, 17 year old boys. is a top two race at the moment. One would say, Tyreman Ravenstein, who's been in a few races featured so far today. Harper Wallace from Parade looks to be in the front and we're by a couple of cushions as well. Harry Wallace. Job done there. Gets a fist bump up. Flexes the muscles. We've seen a couple of those today. We want to see more of it. Well done to Harper from Parade. Event 56 coming right up. Event 56, St. Pat's have their noses in front of them at the moment. Thanks to Harry Robinson, not too far behind is Alexander Hathaway from D. La Sol. Lane five of William Verrill from St. Joey's Fantry Gully, who's also a prominent athletics name too. However, Harry Robinson, who wins it, oozing with class with a time of 36 seconds, 62. Well done to him, St. Pat's Ballarat. Just getting better and better as the day goes on.
Event number 57 for today's coverage. Edward Meddings has got the gasometer on to become the front pedal to the medal in this race. He looks to be extending his gap as the meters go. The tremendous swim stride of a Meddings man. He says, yes, I can win this race. Tremendous time, tremendous performance with a time of 30.42, which according to the score, is another record broken for today. We will get that confirmed later on, but that will make it the second of the previous record held by N. Jazevich from Emmanuel College all the way back in 1994. This is a 30-year record broken, but we will get that confirmed in due course. But what an effort that was from Edward Meddings. He looked to be prominent enough to potentially be in contention to break a record. And he probably got what he deserved as well, rightly so. That's a fantastic swim. Then 58, Division 1B. Rory Jenkins within the pack at the moment. However, he's coming from Samuel Scordella, from St. Bernard's in line six, in front at the moment. Jenkins, Sahandi, St. Joseph Jordan, not too far behind, may get a podium finish, one would say. But bravo to Samuel Scordella from St. Bernard's. With a time of 35.60 to take out that event in the 50 metre breaststroke. Event number 59 to come. in just a couple of moments. It being the Division 1A open 50 metre breaststroke. Event 51, the last of what is many today, the 50 metre breaststroke. Riley Cotel. We just have an announcement to you. Milo Dressel to Boyan with a record broken under 15 metre breaststroke in St. Mary's with a time of 32 seconds. Congratulations. On to the main race here between lanes five and six, what it seems to be. But well, it is Andrew Tan and Riley Cotel. St. Legion and St. Bede's, not a lot in it. It was 0 0.08 milliseconds separating between the two. But it is Andrew Tan who gets a welcoming victory for Salesian in this instance. Getting one over St. Bede's may prove important by the end of today's play. But that does it for the 50 metre breaststroke. Up, coming up next in just a couple of minutes, it will be the under 13 50 metre butterfly. Be back very shortly.
Welcome back to our coverage. Apologies for the lack of broadcast call in the background. This is due to a necessary intermission. We see lane seven here, which has just completed the strike here. This is the fourth record pretty sure been broken today. Edwards Meddings, it broke the time. It's been a 30 year record held for. St. Patrick's College in event number 57 just before. A time of 30 seconds, 42. Well done to him, it was a phenomenal performance and certainly so, with a record being broken. Event 61 coming up, they've been at Division 1A. Under 13, 50 meter butterfly. Lights out and away we go then. Hugh Jones from St. Bede's taking the early lead. It could well prove to be enough. St. Joe is still on hanging about within the top three as things stand. Also see Whitefires within the order as well. But right now it is Hugh Jones who's looking the, for, for the formidable of all athletes at the moment. And should have enough to hold on. Hugh Jones within the 50 metre butterfly gets it done in exquisite fashion. Congratulations to him. Billy O'Brien coming in second. Thomas Boris Witch whizzed with 3786. Event 62 and it's Jack Trinidis who has won a race so far today. In first spot, currently in second, it is neck and neck between St. Pat's and Emmanuel in William Richardson and Leo Loftus, but it's Trinidis from lane three. The D last soul, putting all of his heart and soul out there, gets it done. He sells it in convincing fashion, his victory. Fantastic effort in the water, brilliant. Just finishing off here in lane four from Finn McNamara, too, from St. Mary's College. <laughs> Event number 63, as well as that 62, 64. And just 62, I should say, is where Hayashi broke his records. And he did get it in 2020. So Hayashi is a record-breaking man, if anything. But back to the race itself, our main attraction, Ben. Hi, Nam. In first, could be enough to hold on over Samuel Possolini from Salesian. And he does so, St. Joseph's DeLong getting another victory there. Samuel with a gallant fight back in second spot. Followed by Thomas Herkimoda. And he finished in third with a time of 34 seconds. Event 64. And Miller stop from St. Patrick's. Who looks to be in the lead, but not far behind. It is Noah Chapel giving it a really good fight from St. Mary's College. But Miller stop might be able to have enough in this one, and he does within the encounter. Gets the job done. And St. Patrick's looking the superior Division 2 side. It could well be, but magical day in the swim championships now a chapel from St. Mary's coming second followed by Emmanuel Simmons St. Joe's Fantry Gully and De La Event 65 
at number 65, Division 1A, 15-year-old boys, 50-metre butterfly. Looking, it is a contest that could go either way between within lanes 8 of Alvaro, lanes 5 of Fintan Wilkes and Liam Walker from lane 2 in St. Joe is Geelong. It's lane twos, four and five. Really take your pick on this. Lachlan, Fintan or Liam. And it is Liam who wins it with a time of 30 seconds, 56. St. Joseph's Geelong just getting more wins under their belt for today. Very interested to see how this Division 1 points tally stands as when we do eventually approach in, on our next update. Event number 66. 16 year olds now, Division 2A. Is Blake Scott who has won a race already so far today? And some genuine contenders of Joe Charlesworth. Along with Will Wood, but Charlesworth sort of sitting in second at the moment. But right now, it could be Blake Scott who has enough and yet again. St. Patrick's get another get a another victory over St. Mary's College at the school for Ballarat. Just getting stronger and stronger. Then 67. Joel Pollard it looks to be from Whitefriars within the top two and as well in lane three Jack Darling from Parade may be able to hold on for his first win here and he does I mean come second on a couple occasions so far it is third time lucky for him on this occasion with a time of 28.75 congratulations to him in second spot Joel Pollard Time of 68, 17 year old boys. St. Pat's in Jack Lanyon. Could be coming away with a victory, but Jack Gibson has other ideas, and that's the way he is shown at the moment with the ferocious arm strikes on display within the MSAC water. And Jack Gibson wins it on this occasion over Jack Lanyon from St. Patrick's. A great win for T. Soul. In other news as well, Jack Lanyon's mantle has been wrestled. Event number 69. Coming up, as we're just about to hate Lahan, unfortunately not being able to start. Event 69, 17-year-old, 50-metre butterfly. And it is Tyron Van Ravenstein who looks to be in the top two at the minute. Harper Wallace who has won a race already so far today. Looking strong at the minute, but Tyrone is still isn't giving up and he seems to potentially even be having enough and he does so. Tremendous effort from him. 
finishing with a time of 29 seconds. 0.5 milliseconds. 0.05. Correcting. Event 70, up next. Open boys, 50 metre butterfly, Division 2A. And it is quite strong at the moment. Harry Charlesworth looking as within the top two, but Edward Meddings, who's already bro 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 broken a record already on today's coverage. Harry Charlesworth holding a slender advantage, but Edward Meddings about the arms, it may prove a little too much for Charlesworth. But Harry Charlesworth wins it there. According to our scoreboard, well done to him. Winning it by 0 0.06 milliseconds. By a whisker. Edward Meddings coming second. And Lachlan Tilly coming in third. And Sean Lopez to round up the top four. In the last position there with a time of just under 35 seconds. Event 71 to Open Boys Division 1A of the 50 metre butterfly. Masonod Elrich Kazwadi within contention, but it is coming from Parade. Daniel Power proving the power to win here in this instance. But within, right next to him is Lane 4 to 6 Solution. Same beat, same burner. Two wins it, and Daniel Power. Wins it with a time of 27.93, not too far behind is Andrew Tan with 28 seconds, 27. Event 72, and we start with the under 13, 50 metre backstroke division 2B. With record time on this one being 32.15, held by Zed McGuinness from St. Joe's Geelong in 2019. A fair start from Patrick Creaney from Emmanuel in this one. However, lane five is where the attraction starts to get interesting. Samuel Mosley from St. Joe's Fantry Gully. Thomas Ho from De La Soul was around it, but is slowly falling off just currently. Michael Saglu Saglos from St. Mary's potentially holding the second spot, but it is Samuel James Mosley from St. Joey's Fantry Gully able to win it from lane five. Congratulations to him with a time of 44 seconds 31.
Event 73, halfway into it at the moment. Hugo Devine currently in the front for St. Mary's. And Holt seems to be holding a fair ascendancy in this race. Followed closely by D. La Soul's very own Harvey Waters in second spot. But it is Hugo Devine. A fine performance, finishing in first spot. And the Saints carry on marching on to their wins today. Congratulations. Event 74 coming right up. Event 74, Division 1B, under 13, 50 metre backstroke. Strong start here from Connor Watkins in St. Bede, who has been a race winner thus far in today's 92nd Swim Championships, brought to you by Studio 12 as part of a YouTube coverage. But Connor Watkins looks to be too strong, oozing with our class at the moment. With St. Joseph's. Jalon roundabout in second, but Connor Watkins wins it. It's closely followed by Thomas Borat Switch in second spot. Quinn Blizzard and Harry Hannick, ha Hanasek from Salesian. Event 75 on the horizon. Seventy-five Division 1A, 50 metre backstroke. Strong start from the majority of parties, but we could see who the standouts are being established relatively quickly. Hugh Jones from St. Bede's, what it seems to be, currently in first. In second spot, we have Liam Boris Witch from Whitefriars. But right now, it is Hugh Jones. Looks to be taking this race away by the scruff of its neck. And wins it in an instrumental manner. Well done to him. The last two from lane six and three just finishing off their strokes there. But that is the final score for what it was in event 75. Event 76 coming up. Event 76, Division 2B, 50 metre backstroke, and it's Tyler Dieb, who's been one of the standouts from Simmons so far today. Currently in first spot, not too far behind him, in being lane five, got Lachlan. Apologies, Samuel Ong from St. Joseph's, Fern Tree Gully. And now Ong is now taking the front over, Tyler Dieb, who could be on track to holding his position. Samuel from Fentry Gully gets the job done and Fentry Gully, who haven't had, had many wins within, across their division so far today, they get one here. Well done to Samuel indeed. Tyler Dieppe finishing in a very gallant effort in second spot. Event 77, D. Last I'll look for strongest of all outfits at the moment. Leo Loftus from Emmanuel College. 
in second spot, rising his claim at the minute and his prospects. But it is a fair shout as well from what Lachlan Roney in second spot. But it is Jack Trinides who wins yet again another race coming from lane three. With a time of 32 seconds 11, not too far off a record of 30 seconds 65. Event 78 in the Division 1B. And Oliver Lezik from St. Beads seems to have the advantage at the moment. But it could even be Eamon Dwyer from St. Bernard's. Neck and neck between lanes 5 and 6. Oliver versus Eamon. Eamon looks to be having it. However, Michael from Mazenot gave it a really good go, ended up in third spot. But it is Oliver Lezik who finishes in first spot with a time of 37.86. On with lane four, recipient coming in second spot there with a time of 38.47 from Salesian. Man 79. And 79, lane four, Salesian looking the strongest from Samuel Pozzoli. He's come close to victory so far today. Could he get his attempt? Could he get lucky on this occasion? Thomas Herkenroder on the lane near our broadcast side for today's coverage, not too far behind, but Samuel Pozzoli looks to be who has won it with a time of 34.80. He gets the triumph that he has been looking for. Similar to the Tom Grennan sign of found what I've been looking for. That is a great win for Salesian. Putting in some strong performances in the last couple of races. Getting a second second place and a, and a top spot. Event number 80. The 15 year old boys division 2B. Casper Brutus from Emmanuel. It's looking in front at the minute. Brutus up against Tyler Cartledge and Jacob Fish, but it is Casper from Emmanuel who wins it with a time of 39 seconds, 0 0.08. Tyler Cartledge with a time of 39.69, coming in second spot from lane five, followed by Jacob Fish, finishing third with a time of 40.84.
15 year old Division 2A in the backstroke. Fit and firing, if anything. Miller Stott up against Noah Chapel. We love this sort of shootout between the two. It has been evident throughout today. Chapel currently leading, but Miller Stott giving it a really good crack. See how fastly whipped these arms are between the two. Miller Stott putting in a terrific charge at the moment. And it could be, it is Miller Stott who takes this one out by 0 0.03. Miller seconds and boy that would that could be a steam for Noah Chapel. however can't take a limelight away a tremendous performance from the athlete from St. Mary's College to be a three horse race at the minute in event 82 Duna Danua Pereira from St. Joey's Geelong currently in the lead in second spot from lane five we do have Oliver Smith and lane seven as well we've got Tommaso Zanetti but it is from St. Joseph's Geelong getting yet to get another win for their college Danua Pereira with a time of 33-16 Event 83 in the 15 year old Division 1A. And it is a strong start, especially for lanes 3 and 4, but don't discount lane 8 at the moment. Lachlan Levangresi from Salesian just holding on to Slender 8 and Vantage. Jeremy Watson from Parade not too far behind. He's neck and neck between lanes 3 and 4 as we speak and as we see as well. It's turned into a three horse race. Bit of a stairway to have it if you want to call it that. And it is Jeremy Watson who wins it with a time of 33.81. What was a compelling race there. Second or fourth, only split by 0.65 milliseconds. Event 84 in the Division 2 B bracket. Ryan Hun from Emmanuel. Looks to be equal top at the moment. Lane 5, we've got Jared Raby from St. Joey's Ferntree Gully. But Raby currently leads. Jared Raby wins with a time of 38.13, followed by Emery Dwyer from lane three with a time of 38.82 in what was event number 84 for the day. Event 85 coming up. Senior boys division 2A. James Hay looking the goods, but is going down again. Blake Scott, remember the name and what he has got. Blake Scott probably may be prevailing in this instance, potentially from the faster arm strides. And that is certainly what has transpired. Blake Scott comes away with a win in first spot. Followed by second of James Hay from St. Mary's College and Angus Potter Blake Scott with a great time there that is how it all finished up there for event 86 as the athlete about it 
dip into the water from a backstroke position. All floating above the water now, but in lane five, Connor Casey. I mean, a really strong impression early on. Andre Dallarico, who was a race winner just recently, only a few events and moments ago, is between neck and neck between lane seven and also lane five with Connor Casey. Dallarico holding his ground, even though they're not swimming on ground. But Tallarico does it once again, winning it from lane seven as well. Connor Casey coming in second and Lachlan Vanderlyn in third spot. Eighty-seven of the sixteen-year-old Division One A fifty-meter backstroke Go Jack. is Jack Darling, who looks to be at the Go forefront Jack. as he has done for a few races today. Joel Pollard. It's a great head-to-head -head duel. This is, and it is Jack Darling who wins it by point zero three. Well done to him. It's persistence paying off at the moment. We can see it evidently from his performances coming away with a, a very slither win there over Joel Pollard from Whitefire's event number 88 Thomas Urquhart building a barnstorming case once again in the in the water. Doesn't seem, according to the predictions, anyone is able to catch him. But Thomas Urquhart brings a dagger to the heart to other swimmers and wins once again another race. Some important points banked for St. Pat's Ballarat. St. Patrick's to Jack Landon, who has been, one would say he's been Superman in the water today. He has been on fire. And in a really good duel at the moment up against Jack Gibson from D. La Salle, who's been very pleasing in terms of his performance as well. But Jack Lanyon looks to be he supreme backstroke swimmer. Now finish with a time of 
event 90, 17 year old boys, division one B it is. Parade Cameron Milton looks to be holding a slender lead as of currently Derby Healers from St. Beats from lane five currently in second spot. Is it Cameron Milton time? That's what the crowd are thinking. They seem to be cheering on for him very loud and proud. And Cameron Milton wins it by 0.62 milliseconds over Derby Healers from St. Beats College Air. The last two swimmers just coming in. Event 91. Joseph Hetherington from St. Bede's. Currently in the front. Not too far behind is Cooper Fry from Salesian. But Hetherington seems to have done enough to hold on. And that's what he's done here. Salesian coming in second, followed by Mazadov. Followed by Wiley Herr. And Harper Wallace. Fairing off top five. <laughs> Event 92. It is the open 50 metre backstroke division 2B. Very Interesting contest, Jack DeMarchi, Jack Bennett. It's a battle of the Jacks. Right now it is Fantry Gullies, DeMarchi currently leading. However, Jack Bennett giving it everything he possibly has. And it is DeMarchi who just wins it with a time of 35 seconds. Bain on the dock, win it by 0 0.30 milliseconds. His nearest rival in Jack Bennett from St. Patrick's. Just seen the last swimmer come in there from of Riley, uh, Nicholas Budeman from Simmons. Event 93 up next. <laughs> Harry Charlesworth from St. Mary's currently just in the front. Not by a whole lot, however, because Nicholas Molnar from Emmanuel is breathing down his neck as things stand. But Harry Charlesworth might have enough. He did get the win in his last race that he partook in. Might back it up here, and he does so, but this time in a lot more convincing fashion. Congratulations to him. Second spot being Lachlan Tilly. Nicholas Molnar in third, Charlie Wood and Jack Bennett. Event 94. Division 1B of the Open 50 metre backstroke. And with some athletes, the longer time in the water, the better having coming off a backstroke stance and that is what is paying its dividends. The St. Bede's Riley Cattell coming from lane five. And he is holding the gap. He seems to have consolidated it as well. Rounding off the top three other lanes either side of him, of James Smith and Abaf. But it is Riley 
Katow with a boom boom pow. Getting the job done. Well done. From the fine St. Bede swimmer. The last one, Division 1A, giving it everything you possibly have. Samuel Scordella, who's been very impressive in the pool so far today. Of St. Bernard's College, looks to have taken this one out right. A, a big win for St. Bernard's in terms of pursuing their claim to going up there in the Division 1 overall rankings for this year's 92nd Swim Championship and he wins it. In convincing fashion. Coming right up is the freestyle relay, four by 50 meters. Starting off with Division 2A under 13. We'll be back with you all in just a couple of moments. I hope you're all enjoying the coverage today, which is powered by the Associated Catholic College's YouTube channel through the broadcast service of Studio 12. Hope you are enjoying it as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes.
welcome back to our coverage. It been four schools in action for event number 96, and it is the first of a 4x50 metre freestyle relay for Division 2A in lane three. We've got D Soul. Lane five, we've got Ferntree Gully. Lane six, it is St. Patrick's. Unfortunately, Simmons have been unable to appear. And Emmanuel in lane eight. With James White in lane three. Samuel lane five. Joshua Noble in six. And then Tommy Molner in lane eight as we're about to approach. A second changeover for freestyles. And Archie Carter with a slim advantage at the moment, but not too far behind is Elliot Stott. Aiden Thorpe in third with not too far behind him in being Harvey Waters from D. La Soul. Intriguing race, especially between St. Patrick's and Emmanuel V. These are very important points heading into the end of the day. With every point adds up. And even if you participate, it still counts as a point regardless. And St. Patrick's have come first out of a block there as it, from their third freestyle swimmer thanks to Jack Fraser Oscar Ket Goody or Chet Goody I should say in lane 8 not too far behind from first spot Joey's Ventry Gully a Benjamin Curl in third spot Hayden Atkinson from lane 3 there too we're about to head into the final freestyle swimmers. This is where the final matters, final moments do matter. St. Patrick's Bailey Jarvis in front at the moment. Not too far behind is Patrick Creaney. Can Bailey Jarvis hold on? We're about 25 metres to go, but Patrick from Emmanuel is giving it everything he possibly has. Still striding it into phenomenal fashion too. Looking quite neck and neck. I think Emmanuel may have been able to break the deadlock. We're not too sure. Bailey Jarvis. This has turned into a two-horse race. Who would have thought this compelling start to the freestyle relay entourage? And it is St. Patrick's who win it by 0.42 milliseconds with a time of 2 minutes and 29. 27, if you just have a look at the final leaderboard there. Emmanuel with 2 minutes 29 69 that's it for event number 96 97 coming up very shortly Four by fifty division one A under thirteen race and in contrast to the previous race we have got a full house of swimmers in this one. Lane five within the top three, but it's St. Joey's Geelong holding that slender advantage at the minute. Not too far behind is Wi-Fi's area own Liam Borrows which who's put on some great displays in the water today. St. Joey's Geelong still first. Whether it is St. Peter's and Whitefire's leading the top three. The top three does have a clear discrepancy as opposed to the rest of the swimmers in the water. St. Peter's just clawing their way into the lead. St. Joey's Geelong may have just lost a little bit of pace there within the last few moments. We go from Liam to Thomas. A brothers in arms. Thomas, a Boris Witch. Who was in the top three and is also beginning to lose a bit of pace as well. Lane five, however, aren't losing the pace. They are picking it up instead. Alex Smith from St. Bede has got the lead, but it's not comfortable because there's three other contenders not far behind him, especially from St. Joey's Geelong. Charlie Costello. John Blakemore in lane seven there. And they're coming in for the final swimmer. Here, Hugh Jones. 
to finish it all off. Can St. Pete show to the rest of the schools and within their Division One competition as for why they have won the last four Division One championships in a row to demonstrate and ooze their class out in the water here. It is Hugh Jones. That is a mighty performance. St. Bede's get the win there, and it is St. Joe's Jelani coming second, followed by White Fires, Maznod, and in lane three, it seems to be a tie at the moment, which could later be reviewed, we're not too sure. But that is it for event 97. Well done. From St. Bede's Men's Home. Oh, thank you. All good. I do it. Number 98. D Live got the early lead as things stand. Now up against line 7 Simmons who get it, giving it a fair crack early on, but it is D Live who are looking well strong. And as it is forecasted at the moment. Dealer might be leading by the length of the Flemington straight. That's how it probably is. The second swimmer of Dealer. In event number 98, Tom Evans. To rally up the troops. Steer that front wheel of a cruising ship. One thing is for certain, it's definitely not sinking. Dealer Sol still have a comfortable enough lead. Dealer still holding a comfortable advantage. The ascendancy is on their side to Fantry Gully looks to be in second. Emmanuel in third, but not too far behind him is St. Bernard's. Dealer Sol. With the final swimmer coming up in Jonathan Pereira from your right. Who is holding the lead. It seems to have reduced a little bit in recent times. Ferntree Gully are slowly closing in. 20 minutes to go. But Ferntree Gully camp are probably thinking they've got belief in them. And rightly so. Because Ferntree Gully, they're pushing hard. D. La Sol only just holding on. Ferntree Gully, this is getting a lot closer than it really should. Remember that gap they had. And it only separated by one second at the end of it. Astonishing. What a fight back that was from Ferntree Gully. Wow. My oh my. D La Soul get the win. They deserved it throughout the whole way. Fantry Gully, that to an extent blew the mind of many people watching on. Event number 99, Division 1A, 14 year olds, 4x50 meter freestyle relay. Full house, it's what we love to see, especially in the water. Salesian, 
Might be early doors, but they've got the cushion that they may need at the moment. It's all about the ch changeovers. And they've done that quite well. But there's not too far behind them is St. Bede's in Sam, Sam, Samuel Cow up against Nethum from Salesian. Rounding up your top four is Parade's only, very own Braley Brewer and Ethan Sign from St. Bernard's. Top two still pegging, to, pegging away between Salesian and St. Bede's. Salesian still in front for the meantime. CJ Mumford. So I know it's Nethum still. Salesian still in front, St. Bede's just knocking on their front door, if anything, if they were both next door neighbours in the swimming lane. And it is neck and neck between the top two. It is quite clear, it's a fantastic race at the moment. What a spectacle it is. Salesian just holding on by probably the length of half of an arm. Into the final changeover. We can see it, Calvin Gillespie. We know what he's capable of as an athlete. Up against Nixon Mikolo from St. Bede's. It's going, it's two horse race. We know that as a fact. Another matter of question is who's going to win. It's still Salesian and St. Bede's. Nixon giving it everything he has, so does Calvin. But Calvin seems to have just holding it on by only just. It was half of an arm and now it's only a hand. But Calvin Gillespie might have just held on here and he does. It was only separated by half a second. Well done to Salesian. A great win over the reigning champions of Division 1 there. The last three swimmers coming in from the 4x50 relay. Side. It is triple digits in terms of events. We can now take our, our helmet off as well as raise the bat. If anyone's of a cricket enthusiast of analogies. Very important, impressive, and decent start. St. Pat's currently in the lead. Miller Stop, who's looked brilliant out there in the water today. Miller Stop up against. Was Stott, now Viley Cook up against Daniel Stoiker. Looking at, that is being established well as a top two. Casper Brutus, who has won a race previously so far today, getting one of a few important wins for Emmanuel. In the mix here. Going really good, very slowly bridging the gap into first spot, and Casper has got first spot. Great leg from Emmanuel College, lane, eight, the lane nearest our broadcast side. Fantry Gully up against Emmanuel in the top two, but here's St. Pat's. Paddy Casey, who is roaring in this water with this style on display. St. Pat's now have a clear advantage. It's all about the final swimmer, but they certainly won the Macca's little win in terms of having the third best swimmer and St. Pat's. And you're steering to our destination now. The, with the finish line in sight, Emmanuel in second spot. As of current, Fentry Gully in third. Not too much between second and third. We've got to keep an eye out on that. St. Pat's are leading. Emmanuel slowly closing in, but it probably won't prove enough. However, we've seen some pheno near phenomenal comebacks today. But St. Pat's are the answer to all of the questions in the event 100. Emmanuel coming in second air, followed by Fantry Gully and Dela. The looks of his case. Event 101, very shortly.
same piece in the early phases of these right of this race got the advantage of ahead st joe is geelong it being denura pereira who's been a standout in the water so far today in second spot lane seven we've got rafael met sorry white fries thomas dorat sims it is daniel blast sitch is in front and by a good healthy margin and it is still st beads leading quite comfortably at the moment white fries in second spot has anyone got an answer to the beads being threaded by the school based in Mentone. St. Beats in front. Lane 7 Whitefire still in second. Heading into the final swimmer. They go in. It is St. Beats. Who are leading, followed by White Fires, and then Mazenod rounding off the top three. St. Beads looking to have enough here as they're proud to approach the last five metres, and they do. Again, another win. Number one bats dust. Lane seven. White Fires finishing second. Mazenod in third. Salesian, it looks to be rounding off the top four, followed by. Parade, and there was also St. Bernard's, St. Joe's Geelong, finishing off a race there. We've been 102 on the horizon. St. Mary's looking good early. They are in front. You can't discount there. There's also Emmanuel College in their second spot. De La Soul seem to be creeping into second spot up against the school who's based in lane eight. Coming from lane three. But St. Mary's, can I hold on for an important relay win here? Seem to be extending their advantage up the top here, the Saints. With the third changeover about to commence. It's about consolidating. They've built the foundations. But it's now about adding the compliments around it. And they are leading incredibly convincing fashion. St. Patrick's. Final swimmer to come for St. Mary's College. They are on their way. Fantastic performance from the Saints. In the lineup, Joe Charles, James Hay, Rafi Sayer, and Charlie Mondin. Mondin finishing it all off. A very, very good performance indeed from St. Mary's College. Well done to them, school based in East St Kilda. St Patrick's coming in second spot there. Manual College, fight with all the claws they got. Finishing in third, De La Soul in fourth, coming from lane three. And then in lane five, Fantry Gully. Lane seven about to come in now in Simmons from Clayton Foster.
Event 103. Not many events left for the day. Hope you've all enjoyed the coverage so far as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you all. Ferocious, fast, frenetic pace, as we can see on the start of this one. Whitefire's got the early gap being built. Another matter is sustaining it. Same beats. The reigning chance of the last four years in Division 1 in second spot. Whitefires are able. Holding their position, holding their stance, being strong. St. Beads, not too far, followed by Parade and St. Bernard's heading to the third transitional changeover now. Whitefires and John Halisi, can he hold it? Hold the mantle, but Connor Casey has got, may just bring matters into his own hands here, not too far behind. It's going to be slither. It's going to be quite a classic finish, this, this could well be. St. Bede's is sort of, their hands are just on the feet of a Whitefire's opponents, but Whitefire's doing everything they've got. They could just see what is behind their shoulders. They are. Uh, Really emphasising the performance by 10% at the minute. Joshua Lyons to brew, bring this triumph home, and he does so. Coming first, well done to Whitefires. And Max Matthews to round it off for St. Bede's. Third and fourth, bit of a take your pick. And it is Jack Darling there who brings up. Home for parade in third spot. St. Bernard's in four, followed by St. Joe's Geelong Salesian and Mazanod. Not far to go now. Four events to come until the end of today's coverage. We've got these 17 year old boys, Division 2. Event A, 4x50 relay. No one partaking in lane seven or in zero, one, and two. St. Patrick's, Jack Landon. We just see what a machine he is out in the water today. In first spot. Heading to the second changeover now for the college at Basin Ballarat. And they are just building their lead. It's as simple as that. St. Mary's in second spot, followed by Ferntree Gully. Along with Dela rounding off a top four. St. Pat's looking instrumental in their performance. Their gap getting bigger and bigger and bigger. St. Pat's looks to be an outright winner here for event. 104, Hugo Johnson bringing her home. St. Pat's, it may well be their day. It's what, it's how the trends are going at the moment. D. La Soul and St. Mary's College battling it out for the second spot. But it is St. Patrick's Ballarat cementing their spot in between second and third, looking like a tight tussle. And it is St. Mary's who claim. Second spot by 0.14 milliseconds over D. La Salle, who ended on third spot according to the scoreboard. Otherwise, St. Joey's Fern Tree in fourth, Emmanuel in fifth. Event 105 to come very swiftly.
event 105, 17 year old boys, 4x50 metre freestyle relay. Division 1A. There's certain schools who put their best foot forward in the early stages. St. Bede's, Whitefriars, especially Mazenod are looking really good at the moment. It's Mazenod, St. Bede's, bit of parade sprinkled on top. Going into the changeover of a second swimmer, St. Bede's and Mazenod looking heads ahead at the minute in the top two. Sublime stuff, especially underneath the water from St. Bede's athlete, it being Ju Julian Sabadon. St. Bede's, Venice Parade. What do Parade, it's a, can Parade have an answer? For the moves St. Bede's have up their armour. St. Bede's still in first spot, not too far behind him. Is Parade, and it goes White Fries and Mazenod. Looks to be St. Joe's Geelong on the far side as well. Heading into the last swimmer now. The St. Bede's. These, this word may have been used before, but they are looking immortal. They could well be making a five in a row this year as the Division One champions. Taking out yet again another race in Division One. Coming from lane five. And they go from the wham, bam, shabam, hit the steel out the park from the diving board. The time of a minute 48. With Parade coming in second, Whitefires in third. St. Bernard, St. Joe's, Geelong, Mazenod and Salesian. Second last event, and it is the last Division 2 event for the day. Division 2, who's going to save their best to last? He's going to get that last important victory that is on offer. Manuel, looking good at the moment. The last soul coming from lane 3 in second spot. Followed by St. Pat's and St. Mary's. The D last soul are in first. Swift, giving him the lift they need. The school base in Malvern. Emmanuel in second, St. Pat's in third, St. Mary's in fourth. Fantry Gully in fourth, I should mention. St. Mary's in fifth, but D. Soul coming into their third swimmer now. Not too far behind him is St. Pat's, they've emerged. And uh, in the lead. They were on the canvas before and now they are back on track. And uh, just barnstorming their way into this. Some Zach Dransman too. Can I finish it off? Harry Robinson. He's shown what he's demonstrated before in the water so far today. And it looks to just only consolidated the statement that he is putting out there as an athlete. D. Soul in second. Nicky Raisman. But Harry Robinson to bring her home. By the trend of it, it could well be the day of St. Pat's. It was St. Paddy's Day not long ago. But there could be another one on the cast today. The time of a minute 54. Second, a minute 56 is being St. Mary's College who have emerged into a respectable finish there. De La Salle, Ferntree Gully, Emmanuel and Simmons who unfortunately did not start. Event 107. Your final event for the day. Could there be a record broken here? We've already had four so far. 
Could that be a fifth? Big ask. What can the swimmers bring to our own platter? Strong start here from St. Bernard. St. Bede's rounding off the top two. Fantastic impressions. Great on the opening stage. The Battle of the Saints as we approach the second lot of swimmers. We've raked Fernando, Kai McSweeney. But it is St. Bede's. Who do look ominous at the moment. They are in front. Bernard's in second spot. Fernando showing what to all of the other swimmers what he is all about. Do, can Bernard's make up the ground? The well, last race of the day, St. Bede's looking as champions as ever, giving it 110% because they are the absolute governors. St. Bede's still in first, but they can't drop their man. They can't drop. They can't drop a percentage of what they're already showing because Bernard's are not far behind them in the last two. With only seconds to go in this race. St. Joe is still on, done, fed relatively well in third spot as well. But it is St. Bede's. Bernard, I don't think we'll have enough answers in time to the questions. St. Bede's are posing to them and St. Bede's, I have done it yet again. With a time of a minute 45. Followed in second spot with a minute 48 from St. Bernard's. Followed and correspond with that it is St. Joe's Geelong in third Salesian in fourth spot with a minute 57 followed by Mazenod Whitefires and Parade Daniel Power unfortunately not showing enough power required for the triumph of that race Mentioned with a time of two minutes and five seconds that concludes all of the events from today we'll be back very shortly to wrap up Today's coverage of the 92nd ACC Swim Championships. Just a moment. Be back with you in, in a couple of minutes. Thank you. 
Welcome back to the coverage. Just to wrap up from the ACC 2024 Swim Championships, the 92nd edition of such event here at the Melbourne Sports Aquatic Centre outdoor pool here in Albert Park, at the heart of the Melbourne CBD. What exhilarating displays we've had from a plethora of phenomenal athletes today. We've had four records broken as well. And if you've tuned in to previous years, Rio Hayashi was a dominant one for breaking records, but today he did not feature. But there has been new athletes that have re-emerged as well. So great schools, there's some dazzling performances as well. One potentially maybe crowned new Division Two champions, which has seen a diverse range of winners in previous years. And St. Bede's, they are looking quite ominous quite formidable in making it five years on the trot for locking in Division 1. We've got the presentations to come shortly, which is going to be through the announcers. But outside of that, just want to say a thank you, big thank you very much to everyone that has tuned in through today's coverage, which has been via our Associated Catholic College YouTube live stream coverage and the broadcast powered by Studio 12. I hope you've all of you have enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. And from your caller today in Charlie Roberts, thank you for tuning in and it is goodbye for now and enjoy the ACC 2024 presentations, which is about to commence shortly.
ACC assistance. Thank you to Colbrow Medical Staff, to the staff and students of Whitefriars College who have assisted in the management of the carnival, including the management of the results, which is run by Mr. Peter Kiardillo. Uh, Mr. Adrian Connolly, for announcing thank you very much to all our coaches and team managers, our parents and spectators, and finally, to you, our competitors, for the spirit in which you compete today, for the determination and diligence that you've shown in training for these events. And I recognize that the hours of training that's gone into us have gone into just a few minutes here. You have my greatest admiration. Well done on the day. Congratulations to all. Thank you. Again, today has provided some outstanding swimming and we have three new ACC records to recognise. The first of those being the St. Patrick's Open 4x50 medley relay team who've set a new record of 1 minute and 56.03 seconds. We'd like to call upon Jack, Thomas, Edward and Harrison to accept their new recognition of their record. Our second record today in event 45 was in the under 15, 50 metres breaststroke event. It was created by Milo Dressel de Bruin from Whitefriars College. Congratulations, Milo. St Mary's College. Good call. Apologies, Milo. And our third event record today was created by Edward Meddings in the open 50 metre breaststroke event. Congratulations to Edward representing St. Patrick's. <laughs> our most outstanding achievement award for today's event goes to St. Mary's College. This award acknowledges colleges with students under a thousand. Our Division Two awards for 2024, our age division winners are in the under 13s, St. Patrick's. In the under 14 division, our age winners were De La Salle. In the under 15 section, St. Patrick's. And they might as well stay there. In the under 16 division, St. Patrick's. The under 17 section, St. Patrick's. The senior division, St. Patrick's. Congratulations. A section winners for the Junior Cup in third place was St. Patrick's, in second place, St. Joseph's Furniture Gully, and our winners were Deal Arcel. In the Intermediate Cup, in third place, Emmanuel College, in second place, St Mary's, and in first place, St Patrick's.
and the Senior Aggregator Cup. In third place, St Joseph's Furniture Gully. Second place, Deal Arcel. And you might as well stay here, boys, in first place for the Senior Cup, St Patrick's. Our overall placings in Division 2 for 2024. In sixth place, Simmons College with 189. In fifth place, Emmanuel with 370. In fourth place, St Mary's with 394. In third place, St Joseph's with 405. In second place, with 416 points, Dila Sal and our runaway champions for 2024 with 467 points, St. Patrick's. We now get to our Division One awards. The age division winners. Under-13s, St. Bede's College. The under fourteen section, Salesian College. The under-15 section, St. Bede's. The under 16 section, Whitefriars. The under 17 section, St. Beats. And the senior section, St. Beats. The section winners for the Junior Cup in third place, St. Joseph's Geelong, in second place, Salesian, and in first place, St. Beats. In the Intermediate Cup, in third place, Parade College, in second place, St. Beats, and in first place, White Friars. For the Senior Cup, in third place, St Bernard's. In second place, Parade. And in first place, St Bede's College. Thank you. 